Humphreys is, is the first one that, that springs to mind. The fact that he's world number five at the moment, obviously picked up those four Euro Tour titles, one on the Pro Tour as well. He's tweeted as well since that lineup has been announced and he's obviously going to be frustrated. He tweeted saying, look, yeah, I'm upset not to be included in it. And I kind of felt like I did everything I could have done last year to be in the thought process. Yeah, he's right to be annoyed. He's right to be upset. He's completely entitled to be <laughs> upset. But there's going to be a number of players who feel like that this morning and they'll be, you know, if the roles have been reversed, there'd be ones, you know, the likes of Dimmy or Johnny and players you've just mentioned, the ass with two major finals, the boot would be on the other foot. There are, there are only eight spots in the tournament and there are more than eight players who merit being involved in the Premier League. I think that he was absolutely nailed on going into the World Championship. Um, the back end of the year was absolutely brilliant, did doing similar things to Chris Dobie. In fact, doing better things than Chris Dobie in the big TV tournaments. But then a disappointing World Championship where he was ill, granted. Yep. Um, he was in both World Series events, his debut World Series events. Didn't do it. He wins one of those, I think he's in. Didn't manage to do it. Didn't manage to play his best stuff. Went to the Masters. Didn't manage to play his best stuff. And all of a sudden, the it's a run of four TV events where he hasn't performed to his capabilities. And as we all know... Is just recency bias. What's happened in the last few weeks holds a lot more weight than the last 12 months taken as a whole. The bloke's world number five. What he has to do is just carry on doing what he's doing last year because then he will get himself, he will force his way into the reckoning. They'll make it impossible not to pick him next year. But for him to do that, he's going to have to keep on winning things. So that's his next job. Yeah, this is quite a big test for him because I often go back to that game he played against Chris Dobie at the Worlds the year before last and how big a turning point that was for him, overcoming that where previously if someone's playing well against him, he may have had the tendency to say, why does this always happen against me? And there was quite a negative mindset. And I think this is an another very, very important step in his career, how he responds to this setback. Because as you said, he is entitled to feel very, very hard done by here. Because I think out of all the pundits who were asked to pick their Premier League eight, he was certainly involved in pretty much all of them. So I think, yes, he can feel frustrated, annoyed, angry, because everyone, pretty much everyone, thinks that he had done enough over the course of the 12 months. But it's how he now responds to this. And it's, again, showing that positive mindset and responding in the right way, as opposed to getting too down about it and responding perhaps negatively. Hi, Tori Tarushia. And if you like this video, follow it at 433 underscore dance. Cheers.